Hello everyone, uh, another box opening uh, and review. This is an AOC uh, Full HD LED monitor. It's 21.5 inch or 22 inch. It's the DVI VGA uh, version. Uh, the model number is ET E2270SW. I'm not really too sure what that means in terms of the model number. Nevertheless, get on with the box opening. This is actually from Amazon Warehouse. When I went to purchase it, it was £66 for this item, but it gives you the option of Amazon Warehouse, which means the box is damaged ever so slightly, which saved me £6. So that's a couple of drinks down the pub, or just one if you live in London. Um, here we go. Well, hopefully, the actual item isn't damaged. I don't think it will be. So. Here's a cable, uh, that's a VGA cable, which is good, I didn't actually know it came with that, I brought my own, but that's a good thing. DVI cable, let's do power, and now I'll slide it out. Take this up carefully. Don't want to damage it. Okay. About 2.5 kilograms in weight. It's quite flat, obviously, it's got this thing protruding out the back. Um, it's obviously plastic, uh, sort, of, sort of a grey, slaty kind of finish around the outside. It's actually wall mountable, so you don't need to do that. Um, but that's obviously a, a good option. Uh, I'm using it as a second monitor um, to work with two monitors at work. Um, I've got the base here, which it obviously clips onto. I'm not too sure how that works quite yet, but obviously it comes separate because you've got the wall mounting option. Um, right, so let's see how this goes in. I presume there's something else. Uh, Sorry, slight panic there, I thought we were missing a part, but here we go. So, I don't see how this all clips together. I presume it's quite simple. Um, just slots in there. Yep, easy. And that, this metal connection just slides in. Well, I haven't actually tested this before, but that was bloody easy. And there we go. Uh, obviously, you can have it flat. It can tilt, from what I understand, about 15 degrees. Not really sure how you do that quite yet, but oh, there we go. So there's a slight tilt, five to 15 degrees it will tilt. It's not too far back, but if you're using it as a monitor at work, you're either going to have it flat slightly towards you anyway, so it's not exactly, you don't exactly need it coming back. I suppose if you want to stand up, but if you were standing up, you'd have it up here. So I'm not sure if you'd need it to tilt any more than that. Right, so. Next thing we'll be to do is to connect the cable up and the power, and I'll see you in a second. And just like magic, we're all plugged in. So I just wanted to quickly mention, uh, in the box it came with two monitor drivers, um, but I turned it on and plugged in the VGA cable, and it worked straight away. But it is probably advisable to install these, but just for the purposes of our quick review, uh, we'll, just, we'll just go ahead. I just want to show you the bottom. Um, you'll notice there is no HDMI connection, there's a power, there's VGA and DVI, and that's your lot. Uh, in terms of the actual buttons on the monitor, you've got one button here, underneath, which is your power button, but what it also does is if you click it, you can select through some options here. Uh, you can change DVI, and you've got brightness, you've got contrast, language, and then just going back to the, the main screen. And how you select these is if I just scroll through them, and let's say I want to look at the brightness, I just leave it on there, it starts to blink, as if to say you've selected this, it'll go onto the brightness, then you can click the button in or hold it, and that will change your brightness, etc. Once you're happy with it, you leave it, it will start to blink again, as if to say, well, this is what it's going to be set as, and then it goes off. So that's how you select the certain uh, options. And just again, auto, um, let that select it. OK, 
Okay, that's well, that's sort of auto adjusting the screen to how the monitor thinks it should be. Um, quite obvious, quite clear. So just go for you got auto, DVI, brightness, contrast, language, and then the back button. Okay. So what we've done here is we've connected it via VGA into the laptop. We've gone into the settings, the uh, display settings, and selected extend display. Um, so it's you know so the, so the display goes from this, the mouse will drag across to that. So it's not duplicating the screen of extended display. Obviously, within those settings, you can then change how high the monitor is, etc. So your mouse goes perfectly uh, from one screen to another. Um, I'm just going to stand this up so it's sort of kind of on the same level. I actually got this through work. I haven't bought one of these, but I think these are really handy uh, if you're working on two screens. If you set this up like so. It on there and obviously I'd have a my own keyboard and mouse plugged in um, just to quickly say actually the power cable if you're interested is about a meter long so obviously it depends where your power outlet is depending on how close you can on the screen obviously you can have an extension cable but I thought it might be handy to know if you're buying one if you're interested then it's only a meter long so as you can see I've extended the display and the mouse goes from one screen to another. It's not quite perfectly in line yet because I haven't adjusted the settings, but we can do that. So I'm just going to play a quick video on YouTube just to see how the, the screen looks. HD video, I'll do, won't it? You might have noticed now playing this video, the screen itself does not have speakers. Uh, this is being played out of the laptop. You probably wouldn't expect it to, but just to reiterate, no speakers. Let's skip this advert and then... Okay, so playing an HD video now. I know it's not moving, but it is a video. It is starting to zoom in and stuff. But you can see from the picture, if you're using that for work, it's absolutely perfect. Um, you know, it's not it's not 4K or anything like that. Um, but if I just open Excel, because I know if you use if you've ever plugged in your sort of I don't know if you've got an old 22 inch TV and you're thinking oh I need to make my office at home because of COVID and etc. And you've tried to use it that way, um, plugged in a tiny 22 inch TV. If I use Excel and stuff, it um. It, the, the sharpness just isn't there, it doesn't really work very well, and that's why I bought one of these. Open Excel because we've all seen the HD video. I doubt we're going to be watching many videos at work. If you are, you're slacking. But here we go, I'll just drag this across. Just open Excel, dragging that across. Just double click on that, make it full screen. Oh, it's not doing that, so I'll click there. Nice and sharp, perfect for work. Don't know if the video camera's picking that up very well, but it's just. It's absolutely perfect. There's no, no issues with that. Um, yeah, it's just lovely. It's um, it's a great little thing actually. I'm, I'm pleasantly surprised. Um, so yeah, there's my review of the AOC 22-inch VGA DVI uh, Full HD monitor.